I'm thankful for everybody who joined us. Let's talk about some of the big takeaways that we found out today. If you're watching this section of the video, here are some of our recaps. Uh, I, do, I do encourage you to watch the whole video. We saw that Bit is in an upper parabolic trend shown in these two smaller yellows. Okay, so Bitcoin should be bullish in this time. However, related to the larger story of the USDT.D chart, when this chart goes down, Bitcoin goes up, this chart goes down, it, they work inversely. And I believe this chart is going to reverse really soon. And it's going to look something like this. On the weekly charts, we can see that there's a little bit more time for us to be bullish. So I'm not bullish exactly today. But I said I was going to make an emergency video. And I did earlier this week. And I believe what's going to happen. I believe what's going to happen is that in a few short weeks or a few short days, this thing is going to reverse and we're going to see a big, large down move. I used to think that this was the beginning of the crash, but after examining more data from my report on last Wednesday, I believe that what's going to happen is there's a large down move and then there's going to be another bullish move. But I can see those territories on where they are in the charts. But as of now, this multi-touch support is really the primary area where price reverses. Price almost got there a little bit a while ago, went up, hit our tiger line, which we were expecting. We knew this months in advance, by the way, this tiger areas. And price rounded nicely, and that means it was bullish for cryptos over the past few weeks. And we should still be bullish, but be careful. The danger's almost in. I compared this today to a flipped up reversed around chart on euro uh, euro us dollar from years ago i found it on my phone and i was like "Ooh, i need to draw this and i drew the straight line for you and you can see that same move we went up for a few times just like on this chart and then we came down and we almost made it to that flat and we went up here we almost made it to that flat and went up it is almost like a mirror image right and then we finally came we're finally coming down and here, this one came down as well. It didn't have a backup foundational support. This one also has a backup foundational support. The list goes on and on, guys. And it's all within this area near the vortex, just before the vortex, where prices reverse. And I could easily see, my friends, how price, all these lines are intercepting here. We should be reversing soon. And this reversed. But when this chart goes up, Bitcoin goes down. So the ver therefore, I don't believe there's much more time for profits on Bitcoin. And usually what happens in Bitcoin happens in the rest of the market. We talked about how that power won't always be the case. But it's a dynamic at the very least to shake things up. Some of the biggest questions we were heard today were, will it affect the rest of the markets? We saw that when Bitcoin went up, some of these alts didn't move too many. Some of the altcoins didn't move too much. So therefore, it's very possible that those powers are diminished. We combined it with prophetic in, uh, reports uh, from the past year that talked about uh, prophecies that Bitcoin would have a strong, uh, that Shiba would have a strong move when Bitcoin goes down. And it's possible we are entering those times because the next crypto we looked at was Shiba. And we saw that Shiba was in a strong position. We've been seeing that Shiba has been in a very strong position ever since it was on the top side of this large parabolic on the weekly charts. So I was a few, uh, maybe a month or, month or so ago, I started making very large calls on Shiba saying, hey, Shiba's in a very strong position. And I think Shiba's going to move up up to this point, 00025 before coming down first. And it has position uh, po uh, possibilities to move up very high. And it will, and I do think it's going to do very good. We can see on the shorter term, that Shiba still has room to go up over the next few days. And combining this with a sh with the dip on Bitcoin, I believe that Shiba is going to be pushed down. But overall, as long as we're still on top of this parabolic in yellow, it won't lose its position, which means Shiba can take a hit and still keep on coming and not lose its st structural strength that it's uh, set up over the past many months. Okay, that would be important. So Shiba has room to go up a little bit. Therefore, I think it's going to come back down and there's going to be another time to accumulate some prices at 0000. Yeah, that's going to be uh, 508. Uh, and then 5087 and 5080. Okay, so those are the two areas I really think we're going to get one more chance to get. And, I, and you're going to see it. You're, you're going to see the whole market's down. And everybody's going to be, what's happening? And it's because the more, uh, Bitcoin is starting to reverse. 
And um, the other area I want to buy Shiba is above here. So we talked about that today. We talked about the foundational area on USDT.D, which means that it will be negative for a little bit of time, maybe even a short time, depending on how quickly it moves. And it's going to look bad and Bitcoin will fall for a while. But I think ultimately Bitcoin's going to fall to around 30. I, th I think I have on my map 32 and to 36. Some prophetic people are hearing 38. Just as I hear the see the top in the data around 53 for Bitcoin. But some people in the prophetic are saying 55. Okay. I can see that if we get above 7.82, that track along this point on USDT, that should be the beginning of the crash to zero. But I don't think that's actually going to happen yet. I think we're going to bounce at that area and there's going to be one more big pump. And that's because of the data that we see in in Bitcoin. In Bitcoin, I can see in the large there's a larger parabolic that's on the monthly chart. And those tops give us somewhere around 129,000 for just for mid phantom. But this is there's an error of uh, there's a margin of error. And prophetically, we heard 120, even for a brief time. I can see that price is hitting all the way up to 858,000 in the data. And therefore, even if we take a dip, I don't think that's the big crash to zero. I used to think so, but now I don't. Ever since I started seeing this larger parabolic that's lasted over many months. And I didn't, I showed you guys this in my report uh, a few days ago, but it's like this. And I think you guys would do well to include it in your in your chart and i think what's going to happen is once we get below that parabolic and are building there that's your crash to zero i can see that easily which means even though bitcoin is going to take a di big dip right now don't fear don't fear too much it's going to be short it's going to be short-lived and then things are going to get back to how they should be with another large pump coming up on in the markets if we see a large reverse in the market which we will i believe then we're going to see another bull mold start somewhere when we get back to this foundational area right here you guys can see that angle and it's confirmed in the past one two three times on the daily chart it's on the weekly chart i think it's only once or twice okay here's the same move on the weekly chart core core verification and then verification with those wicks i'm paying attention to the angle because that will be the next time you need to load up cryptos or you need to load up bitcoin or whatever you're going to see if bitcoin's still moving the markets during that time that's when i want to buy again okay i want to be looking to sell soon and i want to be looking to buy once we're it back into these areas and i think that's ultimately what's going to happen and then we're going to see a large run from here all the way down possibly to 3.61 and that's when you're going to see bitcoin most likely hit a very high number and everybody's going to be fomoing into prices during those times or because they don't the fear of missing out they're going to be buying at these tops and that's when we should also take notice of when we need to take profit and then the big crash may ensue or oh, uh, down to those prices and then if we un uh, go on the underside of that parabolic i was showing you just a moment ago then uh, on that larger bitcoin chart then i think what's going to happen is that's when you need to really uh, know that the crash to zero is soon okay even if it's just for a small time and then the recovery maybe to 11 12 13 thousand somewhere there is what i can see in my data we looked at volt and volt it health it just came into volt and we've talked about this parabolic we talked about how it related to bitcoin in the same manner we're actually we're waiting for bitcoin to break above this area and then build up and that was now near in 2021 we can 2020 and 2021 that's what you can expect when you see a parabolic action like that but that means price can go very low and still not lose the setup this was the setup we also saw in volt okay price volt went down to a number thank you thank you ian for prophetically helping us point out these areas but when we see these things happen and price and we can see that parabolic leveling out. Now we know where we should be actually looking to get in volt based on data. And that line is here. Okay. At, this actually need to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 1. 6, 0, 4, 1. I think ultimately what's going to happen is volt is going to be a little bit high because there's still room for it to play and be bullish with all the markets being bullish 
But in a few short days or over the next month or so, we're going to see that hit happen and prices are going to reverse for a season. Volt could come down, but ultimately I think it's going to hold on its support of this parabolic and the support in blue. Okay. And uh, I think uh, Janet was said prophetically, Volt should hold. Um, so uh, I think uh, for people who are prophetically uh, trading Volt, I, I think it's a, just an amazing uh, coin. I had dream about it myself, which talked about in today's video. As we were concluding with Volt, we also had some prophetic words that we should be paying attention to the strongest supports, which should be around 00000036. If it's we're looking just at the data, Sharon in our group had a, a, a word that we should be hitting around three fours, which is still in that support areas down here. Ian <laughs> talked about his talking about the fractal said because we were pu pushing through and spiking through last time, we should be able to spike through either the yellow support or even the blue support and still be healthy just a little bit, which makes a lot of sense. We heard we heard that we need to watch this 31 area as well for a brief spike. It's very possible given the situation, depending on the severity and impact of Bitcoin uh, reversing in such a strong way for a short time, some of these cryptos will spike down to the lower numbers for a brief time. But ultimately, as long as they're holding, which we heard that that Volt is going to hold the line or hold it, then that these cryptos are not losing their position. And therefore, they should rise. And this might be very uh, just a great blessing and a benefit for us who are part of prophetic communities and watching some of these things. And as always, I'm here to help combine the data that I see in the markets with these types of things. All right.